In this session, I'm going to draw a parallel between two well-known concepts and how they play a role in portfolio work. We will discover why the roles of a collector and curator fit portfolio authors particularly well, but also see where there might still be something missing. Using the metaphors of a collector and curator, I want to make it easier to understand what I am talking about. I can rely on established notions of these two roles and therefore facilitate the understanding of the role of a portfolio author that might be a bit more elusive otherwise. So let's start with the collector. Common dictionary definitions say that a collector is a person who collects things of a specific type. The collector decides on the type of object that she desires to accumulate and then sets out to gather the actual objects. Obvious collections contain rare items, stamps, pictures of a certain genre or comic books, for example. I'm an avid collector myself. My favorite collection is made up of photographs of benches. And to be specific, benches without people on them. In order to gather more objects, in my case, photographs of benches, I always have a camera with me and take photos of benches that I haven't encountered before. Sometimes though, I do not take a photo if I'm in a rush, if there are people on the bench, or if it's an inopportune um, time otherwise. However, in general, I collect as many benches as I can set my eyes on. I do not judge the benches and only take photos of extraordinary ones. My collection contains humble, dilapidated, normal, but also interesting benches. What all collectors have in common though, I think, is that we display our collections to showcase them. Some may do that in private or only give a select group of people access to their treasures, whereas others display their collections publicly and invite everybody to browse through them. By collecting specific items and learning more about them, many collectors gain a great deal of expertise in the area of their selected collection artifacts over time and therefore deepen their knowledge of what they are collecting. Now enter the curator. She is a person who selects content typically for an exhibit. While we find them most often in museums and galleries where they oversee collections of other people and select from them, curators can also be collectors themselves. The curator knows her subject to the very um, tiniest detail and can pinpoint information about an artifact often easily through the expertise she's gained over the years. She gathers more information about each artifact to understand it better and to place it into context. An artifact never stands on its own, but always needs to be viewed in its environment as it is shaped by it, as well as shapes the environment itself. Looking at it from the perspective of a portfolio author, the context helps to establish where we were coming from and where we are going. Besides knowing about the fine details without losing the wider context, curators also interpret artifacts. They help us viewers make sense of a collection and at the same time stir us into a particular way of viewing the artifacts in the collection. Because it is not possible to show all the artifacts of a specific type all the time, and because curators interpret artifacts to tell a particular story, they collect as many artifacts as they can, but only select a very few for display. The selection and the interpretation that takes both details and context into consideration lead to conversations that viewers have of a curated collection. Essentially, the curator shows us her view of the artifacts that are gathered in one place and we uh, talk about them. The curator also has the power to mix and remix artifacts. Often, she combines them from different collections to tell a specific story. If I were to curate my bench photos, 
I could display them according to country, size, material, likeness, and so on, providing a different view into the overall collection. Now, you might think we are at the end because we've looked at collectors and curators, but are we? If you think about your own portfolio work, do you mainly collect your artifacts or do you also regularly curate your artifacts? And is that all that you do in your portfolio? When looking at collectors and curators in the context of ePortfolios, I realized that we are not uh, done yet. We have not exhausted all the roles that are being taken by a portfolio author. So what is left? Well, I think there is one very obvious role that all portfolio authors take, and that is the role of the artist. Collectors and curators often work with artifacts created by others. In contrast, as portfolio authors, we create the majority of the artifacts ourselves, collect them and then also curate them by selecting them for a particular portfolio purpose. So are portfolio authors just about collecting and curating? I don't think so. I think we have four C's on our hand. Create, collect, curate, and converse. We create artifacts, we collect them, then we curate them, creating portfolios, and last but not least, um, converse with others about them. Now over to you. In which of these four activities do you engage in your portfolio work? Does one activity stand out as being more prominent than another? And also, is there a difference when you work on your portfolio compared to when your students engage in portfolio activities?